what is going on YouTube East Tactics here and today I want to do a, a video that kind of covers everything on your ESC um, I had a friend of mine that put in a request for me to show him uh, how he can go into the ESC and, and set the brakes to a different setting because he got uh, much larger tires and um, he wants to kind of make the brakes stronger um, and so there's a there's about five or six different things that you can do to your ESC that you're going to want to not necessarily change every one of those things, but at least know about. And if you do run into issues with your ESC, like for instance, um, the other week I was going out to do a bash and I turned my vehicle on and I only had steering for some weird reason. The only thing that was functioning on my vehicle was the steering. I had no gas and I couldn't really figure out exactly what was going on. So um, what I needed to do was do a factory reset on my ESC and and potentially go in and also adjust the throttle endpoints and that's fixed the problem so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to show you how to actually set your reset your ESC back to factory and potentially alleviate any of those weird issues that you might have um, as well as kind of show you the different settings that you can do and we'll even show um, I'll set my punch setting, I'll set my brake, and those are really the only two things that you'd mess with. Um, the other things are just to be left alone, set to default. So, in order to reset your ESC back to factory defaults, what you do is first you turn on your controller. Then you turn on your vehicle. Now, with the controller and the vehicle on, you're gonna hold down the fact. You're gonna hold down the set button for four seconds, and watch for red and green light. Now I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to turn the controller off. So that is how you reset your ESC to factory defaults. So to confirm this, I'm going to go in and now I'm going to reset my punch setting back to, I like my punch setting at six and it comes factory at four. And I'm also going to show you how you can change your brake strength from 37.5% to either 25% brakes or up to 50% for more brakes. Now the reason why you'd want to actually jump it up to 50% for more brakes is if you've got larger tires and more weight on your vehicle. You've maybe done all the different upgrades like uh, you know a new chassis, all the aluminum parts, heavier shock towers, things like that. If you're finding that your vehicle's not quite stopping as fast as you'd like it to, you can kind of go in and test it at 50% and see if you like it. I'm, I've kept mine, even though I have put some weight on my vehicle, I, I like mine. I'm fine with it at the stock 37.5%. I don't really know why anybody would want to take the brakes down to 25%, um, but hey, I guess you have the option. So. So in order for uh, for somebody to go in and to set these settings, let's say your vehicle's brand new and you just wanna go in and adjust your brake and adjust your punch setting, this is how you do it. So, so you turn your controller on, always first. And then we're gonna go ahead and power on the vehicle by first holding down the set button and then powering it on while we're holding down the little set button. And what's gonna happen is it's going to start beeping and it's going to go through a succession of one beeps, two beeps, three beeps, four beeps, and five beeps, you'll see. Holding down the set button, powering on. 
still holding. One, two, there's the third setting. There's the fourth setting. And that's the fifth setting, and it restarts over. All right. One is low voltage you'll never mess with. Two is punch setting you'll want to adjust maybe. Three is brake strength you'll want to adjust maybe. Four is running mode, keep at default. Five is motor rotation. Okay, I let go at two, which again is the punch setting. I know I successfully um, set my ESC back to default because it's beeping four times, which is the fourth power. I want it to be six, so I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit the set button and change it up one. So it's four beeps, I'll change it to five. Now it's gonna, five is one long beep. Now my punch setting is set at five. I'm gonna hit the button again and I should hear one long beep and a one short beep. Okay, here I go. So that's at punch setting six. Now I'm gonna turn my vehicle off. I just successfully set my punch setting to punch setting six, which is where I like it. Now, as far as my brake goes, if I wanna adjust my brake setting, I'm gonna do the same thing. My controller is still on, my vehicle is off. In order for me to adjust any setting, I'm gonna hold down the set button, and then I'm gonna power on while holding the set button. Now, it's gonna automatically start beeping really fast and then it's gonna go into the, the five beep modes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to let go after I hear it go to the third beep because that is the brake setting. Watch. One. One, two. Let go. So I let go after the third. Now I'm in my brake settings. Now, there are three brake settings. By default, it's set on the second one, which is 50%. If I hit the button once, it'll be set on the third one. So, that's the third brake setting, which is 50% brake power. It'll keep repeating that. If I wanna drop it to 25%, I'll hit the button and it'll go back to one, watch. Now watch, it'll just be one. Right now I'm currently at 25% brake power. I want it to be at 37 and a half, which is the default. So I'm gonna hit the set button one time. Now it's going at two. Okay, so my brake setting is now set at what I want it to be. Again, you're never really gonna mess with the first and the fourth and the fifth settings. Um, unless you're doing some really unique stuff that I don't understand why you'd mess with, but to each their own. Um, so I'm gonna shut the vehicle off, and now my brake setting is still, it's set at default, but I showed you how to change it. Um, the last thing I wanted to point out was, you'll notice that when I first, when I first, when I'm holding down the set button and I power the vehicle on, it starts beeping really fast. And basically what that is is doing is if you let go of the button during that fast beeping, it's allowing you to go in to set your, your throttle endpoints. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and show you how to do that. We're gonna go in and we're gonna hold down the set button and turn the vehicle on. And then while it's in that fast beeping mode, we're gonna let go. Instead of waiting for it to go through those five different modes, we're gonna let go before that happens. Okay, so you're gonna go in, you're gonna hold down the set button, you're gonna turn the vehicle on, and then let go during the beeping. Now, while it's beeping, we're gonna set the throttle endpoints. So first, we're gonna leave the controller in neutral position. We're gonna leave the throttle in its neutral position and hit the set button once. That's neutral. Then, we're going to pull the trigger, and we're gonna hit the button again. Then we are going to put it in full brake. 
and hit the button again. Then when we're done with that, we're gonna switch the ESC off. And that is how you set your throttle endpoints. If your ESC has that error that I was telling you about where all of a sudden you turn your vehicle on and the lights flashing, the green lights just flashing four times and you don't have power to your rear end, then you'll want to do a factory reset on your vehicle. However, if the factory reset doesn't work for you and you're holding down the set button and you're hitting the power on and it's just not going into the mode of changing, I'm gonna to cut to a video that I recorded last week that basically shows you how to do this thing if by chance the normal factory resetting doesn't work. You'll, you'll do this. So I'll cut to that video now. It's good to know that if you do run into a situation where you're about ready to go for a bash and you turn your vehicle on and your steering's working but your throttle's not working, that there's a fix to that. Let me show you. I turn it on. I have a flashing green light. I've been doing a little bit of research and potentially the fix is as follows. So we've got the flashing green light. We're going to turn it off. We're going to hit this, hold the set button and turn it on. While I'm holding the set button, I'm going to disconnect the yellow. Notice it starts flashing red. Now I'm going to reconnect the yellow. So it's detecting that it is in a mode. All right, well, looks like I got her back up and running. Go ahead and turn her off. Turn the controller off. And hopefully everything's back to normal. Yep. All right, so basically we're back now and you saw kind of a special thing you can do in case you run into a situation where your ESC, um, you know, for whatever reason, you stop getting power to the rear end and you need to do something special to, to make it work. Unplug that yellow wire while you're in that process. So I covered a lot in this video. I covered if you run into issues with your ESC, how to do a factory reset. If you're new to RC or you have a reason that you need to go in and, and set your punch settings or adjust your brakes, I showed you how to do that. I also showed you a special trick that if you run into a weird situation where doing a factory reset is just not registering, then you can pull the yellow um, motor terminal while you're doing um, the factory reset. A lot of times that kind of kicks it into gear so that it recognizes the factory reset. And then I also, the last thing I showed you was how to go in and set your throttle endpoints so that you can properly have that communication with your controller. So anyway, that kind of wraps up this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching my content. Um, thanks again for, you know, being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, I post a lot of really informative things on the channel that are really helpful, especially if you're new to the platform. Um, and I will catch you guys on my next video. East Tactics, out.
So yeah, 35 minutes of runtime on my my standard setup, not using the BEC to power my servo to 7.4 volts. Maybe do a quick spin dry. It's actually a lot more wobbly than I'd like it to be. 